Hi, this is Rosalind Kahn from Chow Entertainment, living your best life. Boy, am I excited to be with you here today. Chow Entertainment is out of Los Angeles. We run every Tuesday, 11 a.m. on KXLA TV. We're also out of Las Vegas at KGNG. And you can find us on Roku TV and Amazon Fire. So, boy, am I excited to have these celebrities here. This gentleman here is absolutely amazing. He hails to us all the way from India. He is a producer, he's a director, he's a writer. He is world famed in India and around the world. And this, my friend, is Harsh Gupta. Say hello, and I'll introduce your friend. Say hello. She's uh, a Poonam Jhawar, a partner of mine. Hi, how are you doing, Dazal Khan? Good morning. Good morning. Nice time to have a nice time and have an interview with you from your channel. I highly appreciate it. I am the director for Dasa Falke Excellence Awards in India since last so many years. And uh, this is the one of the very prestigious award, Razan, uh -huh. in India, like your Oscar in uh, LA. And uh, all the celebrity comes, 32 crafts comes, a lot of technicians, industrial people, director, producers come and take an award in this particular award. We have a very glitter glamour ceremony for three hours and uh, we telecast on a television every year and we hopefully we are planning with Mr. Garson as well if you uh, give us uh, on a social uh, uh, media coverage we'll definitely on 2023 and 24 we are trying to get this award on board in Las Vegas ma'am. Wow and yeah. this is the famed I was going to get to you this is Pooja correct? Poonam. Poonam. Poonam and Poonam is an, an actress, a celebrity, your partner in crime, and she's going to tell us all about the wonderful partner things she did. Partner in crime, that's so there sweet you go. of her. Hi guys, I'm Poonam Dhawar here, Indian actress, back and producer, uh, kind of um, albums done, a lot of albums, and now I'm partner with Harsh Gupta in our event, and uh, so you can call me as event creator with him, and um, lots of uh, fun, and lots of uh, Crazy thing we'll do here with Rosalind. Fantastic. Now you said you have some albums. Are those musical albums? Yes, I do a lot of musical albums, which is uh, already on the YouTube, which is very famous. On my name, you can just put my name as Poonam Dhawar and you will have so many things coming up. What kind of music do you play? I know I play Hindi music, um, uh, pop singing, and uh, I used to sing and uh, make my own videos. Wow. So those are like, I have seen LA, uh, people are dying to have their music albums and videos. So we, we have already done that and we are making lots of albums in India back as uh, As well as abroad as also. Well as, uh, we have already made a projection. Wow. Uh, yeah. yeah in From LA US. to India, we are trying to make a bridge, uh, Hollywood to Bollywood together. Oh so that's gosh. the best thing about it. No, that's amazing. Now I know this Harsh Gupta, he's going to be surprised when I tell him this, <laughs> is a world renowned writer. Mm. I took a glance at one of the books that you've written before. I'm not. No, he, no, 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 he no, 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 I'm not an author. Not I am it. basically a creator. Basically, we create the, we promote the product and we create the uh, creativity in award shows, basically. We are into the productions also. We have our own production house in Fantastic. India. And we are uh, uh, collaboration with uh, Garson, Garson right. for uh, upcoming his film, A Love in Mumbai, which is going to be shoot is a, uh, based on a peace and harmony which is oh, we are yes. going to shoot in uh, Los uh, Angeles and also in uh, uh, India mm -hmm. and we are properly shooting this uh, film somewhere in 23 January onwards wow. and we will be releasing in somewhere in October or November hopefully if we everything goes down this is a promotion for the film for the tourism mm -hmm. and peace and a harmony sounds like it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I'm the co-producer for that and she's working as an actress in that film, basically. And Razal Khan is definitely going to promote us in uh, all over the yes. world. Oh yes, peace and harmony is uh, yes. really what it's, what it's all about. I spent a year of my life yeah, because, tra because traveling. The, because yeah. everybody need a peace today. We are running fast, we are everybody is running, you know, but we need a peace in life, everybody. So this is a message of a peace and harmony, this film and all. Yeah. That, that sounds beautiful. I, I read something yesterday and it said success in life is measured not by the dollars that you earn but the peace and harmony wow. that you Perfect. have in your life. Perfect. Rather. So that is, that is really what it's really all about. Now one last question. Of all the work that you've done in your whole entire life, if there was one moment that you remember especially that really touched and moved you, what was that, that one moment behind the camera that you were filming or that you watched that that has really transformed the person you are and the work that you do? 
<laughs> lot of moment we have cross uh, with our parents with our uh, with our with our co artist see this is a very struggling uh, uh, the behind camera and whatever you see in front of the screen right a glamour glitter right. is not a reality right 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 behind the screen is a 100% that you have to come up from the pin to piano you have to learn you have to come up from the down to the top level to the pinnacle it's a lot of struggle every moment is you have to remember it every moment you learn from your mistakes and every moment you feel creativity i don't say ki one of the moment which we have you know gathered together no every moment you learn and every moment is a you know remarkable moment i think and you should do hard work and learn with every moment it is not a particular moment i can suggest that we have gone through this moment and is a memorable no lot of experiences lot of uh, the distress and lot of hard work make you to make a one movie or one product or one uh, uh, award night Right. All moments are very important awesome. for us, I think, yeah. And so my, my difficult question for you. Oh, are you ready? it goes, yeah. Okay. I know many people in partnership relationships, they find the right one, the wrong one. What do you think has been uh, the element that makes your relationship as a business partner so successful? Um, yeah, because we are just friends and you asked me a very good question, why we are business partners? First of all, because we have a very true, good understanding, true, true, and platonic relations, true relationship yes. where we don't hide anything with each other, transparent. We, we yeah. tell each other what is true, what is wrong, what yeah. is right, how to do it, and we listen to each other. And we other. fight. We doesn't mean we fight also. We fight because, because fight we because of the ethically, get, non-ethically. We have yeah. to get better and better. Uh, yes, for a creativity. Yes. We, fight. we fight. So this is what is the good thing about that. We he want, he has to listen to me. I have to listen. Yes. To him. So we listen to each other and then make people listen to us. Sometimes I am. <laughs> sometimes I'll tell you, Rasul. I'm. Sometimes I'm wrong. Right. She's right. But my point of view, I'm. I'm right. In her point of view, she's right. So we have to synchronize both the things together and make. Basically, the fight is not personal. Right. Fight is for the creativity for the product. we want to bring the product international level Correct. wow okay. so that is the fight only and if you don't have a fight you can't bring the product you know there has to be critics no there's always got to be critics yeah, always yeah. definitely so then only you bring the products high right you so in a pinnacle level you know so this is basically to bring the awards into the internet or any anything right let right, it be right. show let it a film let it album let it be product for that you have to discuss you have to ethically you have to do things and you have to come up in a life that's, that's it that's all we have to do that that sounds fantastic hi this is john grant with john grant coaching are you feeling depressed or anxious because you've just lost your job perhaps a relationship well you need a coach that will get to the root of the problem and give you simple instructions to follow each and every day that's you call this number 951 2255809 and you'll be working with John Grant coaching today. Fantastic. Well, it's been wonderful having a chance to interview you. Thank I know we've got so much on your plate and my plate. We've got to keep the plates flying. Yeah. So, how can people follow you on social media? How can they stay in contact with you? You can just go on Instagram and just dial at Poonam Dhawa P W O N A M J A T W E R and you will have all my Instagram, my FB All my followers can just follow me, and you can also DM me that you you're following me from LA, so it will be really nice. And from Rosalind's uh, Rosalind Khan, Rosalind Khan's uh, uh, channel and whatever interview, if you see me here, please do write her name together, so I'll I'll know that it's from her channel and her my interview has become so famous here. Please do write to me on Instagram at Poonam Bhava. Thank you so much. Wow, they're honking for you. They're honking for you. This is a sign. Where did, where can they find you at? At Harsh Gupta on Instagram at Harsh Gupta H H H A R S H underscore H R Entertainment dot com. Well, that is it. it. My name is Rosalind Khan. As mentioned, I'm with Chow Entertainment, living your best life every Tuesday here in LA at 11 a.m. I can't wait to be on your show. Thank you so much. Thank you, so Thank, much. You, Thank, Thank you, Rajesh. Thank you, Poonam. All righty. Take care. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is Roslyn with Chow Entertainment, living your best life. Now, I interviewed all your friends coming from Kansas, 
<laughs> and they said that I needed to meet you to oh, tell hear your story because you're a world traveler. Yes. And tell me, what do you do around the world? Well, so I, I was in a number of different government education programs. Oh, so I love it. I worked for the government for 20 years. So uh, I participated in a um, national security education program called the Born Fellowship. And what that does is it sends qualified candidates to countries that are you know, less known and not so much taught, rather by language or culture or studies in the university. Uh, so I went to Kazakhstan. I lived there for a year. I learned how to speak Russian. I've also studied in uh, Cuba. I've studied in Japan. I've studied in China. England, Austria, uh, Netherlands, Ethiopia. So yeah. Wow. yeah. So what's 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 the key to learning all those languages? What's the secret? You know, honestly, total immersion. I know, you know, that's what people say, but that's really it. So Russian was the last language that I ever studied, and um, you know, you're talking 2016, 2017, so not that long ago. And I was actually able to learn Russian faster than I learned any other language prior. And it was because I was living in a Russian-speaking country. I lived with a family who only spoke Russian, so I didn't have any choice. It was like a survival thing. You know? No, definitely. Yeah. So, I, I kind of know that sim similar to myself. I, I'm one of those kids who learned a lot of languages. So when I was growing up, I had the choice of cleaning or learning the language to have someone else do it. So I, I still need my house clean today because I, I didn't learn that. But uh, I also learned Hebrew in religious school. Um, I went on a group and I traveled around the world and I can say in Danish, which means I love you in Danish. Oh, okay. We had a song that was in Japanese that was which uh, means thank you very much. No parlez-vous français from another trip. Uh -huh. And no sprechen Sie Deutsch. Oh, okay. No and it's, it's it's interesting how we we build those language skills from a very young age. So I'm going to ask you a really weird question. Yeah. When you were young, yeah. when was it that you were first exposed to your second language? That's a good question. So my father was a convert to Islam. He converted to Islam in his 20s. So by the time I was born, he was really uh, trying to study Arabic. Mm -hmm. And so, um, from a young age, I was exposed to English and Arabic. And How old? I would say as soon as I was born, less than one years old. Well, they, they, they say if you play the music of another, of another culture to a young child, it, it goes into the brain. And so the thing I was looking at, it's, it's that young age, and it's about the age of eight. When a child is acquiring a language at, at that age, they're able to pick up these languages and absolutely learn them, yeah. which is absolutely fascinating. And yeah. so when you learned all these languages, what was your goal? What were you doing? What were you trying to accomplish? Well, I was trying to have a career in the government. So, you know, I wanted to work for the intelligence community. I wanted to be a spy or work for the State Department. It was an outlandish dream. Uh, it didn't pan out quite the way I wanted it to. So now I was able to take all of those experiences and those skills and incorporate them into my filmmaking. Wow, so what are your films that you make about? So I write, produce, direct, and also DP. Uh, most of my films revolve around like social commentary. For example, uh, we did one in Kansas City, Missouri where we actually brought together uh, members of the African American community and the local police department. Mm -hmm. We shot like an experimental musical short. Wow. Yeah, so it was interesting, you know, to have like real cops, you know, the SWAT team, real members of the community, activists, etc., and have have all these people collaborate together on this film project. So. That just sounds so wonderful because my yeah. television show is all about diversity and bringing people together, and it sounds like you and I are united. I spent a year traveling in a group called Upward People. This June, I went to my 37th reunion of this group in Ennis, Ireland, and oh my God, it was amazing to, to see the relationships. I'm here in San Diego for my 40th high school reunion, which is going to be this Sunday. Okay, And so it's, it's, it's all about connecting with people at another point in life where the old stuff doesn't matter. Right. And you, and you get to be, and you, it, it is just so wonderful. I love to have you come on my show as, as a regular, and we're going we're gonna to talk about that. So Absolutely. I'm with Chow Entertainment, living your best life. It is every Tuesday, 11 a.m. out of Los Angeles. 
It's on KGNG in Las Vegas. And I, the lovely, am going to Egypt in August to meet a nice. diplomat. So really? you can follow me on all social media under Roslyn Khan. Check out that YouTube, hundreds of videos. And where can they follow you? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. It's my first name, K-H-A-L-I-D underscore my last name, A-B-D-U-L-Q-A-A-D-I-R. I know it's long. But if well, you search my first and last name on Google, you'll find everything. It's been a pleasure and honor. I look forward to seeing you in the movies, man. Gratitude yes, man. beyond words and namaste. Thank you. Hi, this is Rosalind Khan with Chow Entertainment, living your best life. We're here at the La Jolla International Film Festival, number 13. And I ran into this sharp guy whose name is Mr. Barry Allen Cohen. Barry Allen Cohen. Barry Allen Cohen, what brings you to this beautiful place here? Tell us, tell us. Well, I was here last year, and it was a great event, and I uh, was invited to come back this year, so I just wanted to participate and see the films and the fashion and everything else. So. Fantastic. Now, now, you're a singer, right, Trey, right? I am. I'm a pop jazz singer here in San Diego, but I do go to uh, Palm Springs and Las Vegas and up in Orange County in L.A. occasionally, but mainly down in San Diego. That's fantastic. You know, I have a TV show that's actually in Las Vegas. It's called KGNG 26.8, and we carry our shows in Vegas, so if you ever have anything in Vegas you want to promote? Yeah, I was just here a couple months ago. I did a show at the Blue Martini. So yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. That's wonderful. Now, what, what got you into the world of singing? Oh, you know, I started uh, in college. I, uh, I was in a, uh, we had a duo. I had a duo with another guy. He did all the singing. I didn't sing then. I just played guitar, so I got a, kind of a late start singing. I didn't start singing until I got out of college, and I didn't get into a jazz and big band until like the year 2000, so uh, it was kind of a transition, but now I love it. But. You love it, wow. Now, is there a favorite song that you have, a favorite song you love to do? Probably my favorite, um, I do other stuff too when I play at uh, restaurants that they want variety, but my favorite Sinatra songs are uh, That's Life and Luck Be a Lady, those are my favorite ones to sing. Oh my God, that's absolutely beautiful, <laughs> that's absolutely beautiful. And what are the words that you live by each and every day? Song-wise? No, just the words that you live by in your life. Oh. Well, uh, I try to get up every morning and say the world's going to treat me right and in a lot of good ways, find out like financially, but physically and everything else, and uh, kind of go from there. So. You know, that's the same thing I say. It's going to be a blessed and beautiful day, and every yeah. day I'm going to inspire and change another person's life. And the, the fact that I met you and the two of us are sitting here having a conversation, this is awesome. Oh, thank you. My show is called... Living your best life on like KXLA Chow Entertainment in Los Angeles. It also plays up and down here to Oceanside in San Diego. It's also on KGNG in Las Vegas, 26.8, okay. on Roku TV and Amazon Prime TV. And uh, we're going to another station in Las Vegas soon. And best of all, the lady you're looking at right here in the beautiful red dress, her favorite, is going to Egypt to interview a diplomat and wow. so you can say you saw her here in San Diego. Right. There you go. Woohoo! And how can people follow you? Uh, Barry Allen Cohen, uh, everything, BarryAllenCohen.com and then everything else is Barry Allen Cohen. So. Well, well, it's interesting. My last name is Khan, so we're, we're yeah, tangentially cool. related, you know. Yeah. The 12 tribes that brought us all here together. So here we are. Thank you so much. I'm Rosalind Khan. Follow me on all social media and we'll see you in Hollywood. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Historic GA, general aviation, and World War II airplanes here at the Oakland Airport. As you can see, it's now open seven days a week for the summer. And I wanted to show you around. This is an indoor and outdoor museum. This is the outdoor area. Over there, we have a flying boat. There's not too many of those left. Here you can see the Douglas KA-3B Sky Warrior. Really cool. Let me take you inside the hangar. I'd love to show you around a little bit inside this hangar that is home to so many wonderful planes. This here is a favorite of most people. It's a P-51 Mustang. Lots of red and blue. You can read up on it. See the helicopter back there? It's always great to look at all the historic aircraft that you can't see in too many places. I'll just take you through this hangar right here. This is an Aronka. A lot of people got their start or had their first flight in this plane. Now we use more Cessnas. Come over here. And 
this is just a great place to come and visit to bring your family. As you can see, the ground is like a little runway. Like the Kitty Hawk corporate. And of course, that's the Wright Brothers. That's the Wright Brothers plane. There's always an exhibits in here. We have some engines. And this is the gift shop where you can get all of your favorite aviation goods. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon. Hi, this is Rosalind Kahn from Chow Entertainment, living your best life. I saw these two ladies from afar, and I noticed their beautiful clothing, and I said, I need to talk to these ladies. But when I heard their story, my heart melted. I'd like to introduce you to Alicia and Daniela. Alicia and Daniela, tell me about your company. We are a woman-daughter company, uh, a woman company, and, and it is uh, cashmere, mostly cashmere. We, we design the, the, the products, and then we produce them in Nepal and India, and it's fair trade, ethical fashion. If, if we have a motto that is be creative, be aware, and be authentic, be world tribe, because we, it's important for us to, to be sure that you know, the products that we make, we know who makes them, and that they have the rights that we have. And the, the products are also sustainable. And for example, the goats are treated humanely. They are, you know, they're, you know, they're brushed and they're brushed humanely, and that's something that is important for us. That you know, when when they do it, they they're doing it in a way that is uh, ethical. Wow. And and yeah. Can you show us your blue shawl? The shawl. This is this is the uh, it's, it's lace, ca uh, silk, and and it's cashmere, and wow. it is. Um, we design it, you know, my daughter and I, we design these and, and we manufacture it in, in, in Nepal and India. So we have, this is kind of the fancy one, but we have ponchos and everyday kind of scarves. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Now you're also talking about the jewelry. Show me the beautiful jewelry oh. that you have. Yeah. Oh so my this God. is 24 karat gold so and silver plated agate. It's from Brazil. Yeah, look, from the south of Brazil. Oh be more specific. my God. Yeah. And where is, where is your business located? The what? Where is your business located? We is mostly online and we just work with with the online shop. And we have different stores that, that feature things like wineries and spas. And there's actually stores here in in, uh, in La Jolla that have it. We are a very small starting you know brand right. company and we actually have also in Spain, we're selling our, our products in Spain. Fantastic. Well, I'm going on a trip to Egypt. There's a lady there who has a spa. And when you hear about what I'm doing in Egypt, interviewing a diplomat, you guys would want to have a part in this. So my name is Rosalind Khan. I'm with Hishao Entertainment. It's called Living Your Best Life. And it's every Tuesday in LA at KXLA. It's in Las Vegas at KGNG. We're on Amazon Prime and Roku, Roku TV. Amazon Fire and Roku TV. My name is Rosalind Khan. We look forward to you following me and I'll follow you. And where can we follow you at? I will. Uh, this is amazing. Thank you so much. We love it. And, and you know, please, you know, follow us. I and mean, there's actually, we just did a new bash of fantastic designs that were just kind of going a little bit crazy. Beautiful with authentic designs and with our creative mind that is based on you know like the environment like Absolutely. the sunset the ocean the trees and that's what inspires us for example i can be walking around and i would see a beautiful sunset and i would take a picture and i would send it to her and i'm like this should be a poncho this should be a shawl i can it could be like right after a rainy day and i'd be like I need it to be a poncho or it needs to be a shawl. Like the I, I gray can, of the sky, you know? I, I can send you pictures that you can make in. Oh, that yeah. would be amazing, oh please. Yeah. So how do people follow you? So you follow us on Instagram is World, World Tribe Cat, World World Tribe Cashmere. World Tribe Cashmere. Wow. It's called World Tribe Cashmere. Well I think this is just the beginning of many great things to come. My name is Ros Hi, this is Rosalind Khan from Chow Entertainment, living your best life here at the La Jolla International Film Festival. I ran into this beautiful man. I love the color of his hair. I love his outfit. It is gorgeous. When we finish, we're going to show you the full deal. But tell us, Wish, how did this all come about? So like 12 years ago, I, um, I started performing as a circus performer. And I, I love doing aerial. So that was like the new thing that really inspired me to create costumes. and. And then over the years, it just 
like keep evolving into into fashion so like a lot of my inspiration comes from my circus background and I love colors um, I just like to be different and like have that performance aspect in my clothing oh wow it's a beautiful it's a beautiful outfit that you have it's just really really touching what circus was the one that you were in many years ago so it was um, it was called a uh, circon aerial entertainment it was um, a company that we both that my partner and I created together so we perform all over um, the LA area and we did festivals and we went to Burning Man so um, we just did a lot of corporate events and, and perform a lot at Circus Disco when it was open and that was like the beginning of like um, my fashion design that is wonderful career. I got I got to show everybody your beautiful thing so can you go ahead and step up a, a step go ahead and step up step up we're gonna look at this guy and we're gonna go ahead and show you his beautiful beautiful clothing that is just absolutely amazing. You are so attractive and I love your design. It is just, it's beautiful. So how long, how long did it take you to, to make these wonderful designs? So, um, so the coat, it took me like about a day and this, um, this corset is a piece from my friend um, Firecoat and everything just came together. Um, First the coat and then the pants and then it's just like I wanted to be in all black but I also like have the hint of colors inside because that's what I really love. That's what I really like the most, like being colorful and like playing the colors and like I love turquoise because of my hair so that's how you're, ta you're talking to a lady who loves colors. Anytime I see anything bright and colorful, I have to stop and take a picture. I love flowers. I love things that bring bright. And, and I think that's what attracted me to you. Now, if people want to follow you and they want to, you know, know where you're up to and what, what's, what's going on, where can, they where can they follow you at? So my clothing is called Wishwear. Mm -hmm. My clothing is called Wishwear. So you can follow me on Instagram or, um, at Wishwear or my website, wishwear.com and you'll see all the examples of my circus work and my fashion work. Oh, that's